Welcome to the Master Lab Studio. My name is Patrick with the support team at Prototech Engineering. Today we are on site at Miltronics USA up here in Waconia, Minnesota, doing some test cuts in their showroom. This is a pretty cool facility because just to the left of me is where every Miltronics machine is built from the ground up. Now today's topic is going to be how to manipulate cut patterns while utilizing Mastercam's high speed equal scallop tool path. Now before we get there, I think there's some very important things that we need to discuss before we actually get to the cutting and programming of this. And I, I, con I call them factors. So there's really four factors that anytime we're gonna be doing any high efficiency machining can become a very big player to have the most success. So factor number one, uh, factor number one is going to be the machine. So in this case here, we're cutting with the Miltronics 3018 IL. Uh, this is going to be a big plus spindle, 25 horsepower, and this machine is going to have a, a capable processor to keep up with the demands that I've been throwing it for the last couple days. Factor number two is going to be tooling. We teamed up with the Mugi Tools and we utilized their uh, trochoidal end mill and their jet cut duplex end mill. Now they are known as the leaders in hard to cut materials and this is once again a situation where they proved it to me time and time again. Uh, the third factor is one that a lot of people don't want to talk about but I think it's one of the most important factors here is holders. Um, in this case we're using Emugi's hydraulic holder with a pin lock collet system. Now what that's going to do is that's going to eliminate any tool pull or any twist and it's also going to eliminate any harmonics that are potential to come through the tool holder back into the spindle. And factor number four is Mastercam. Uh, with Mastercam's ability to give the end user or the programmer the final say in cut pattern is going to make all the difference when we're going ahead and cutting these more complex parts. So let's go ahead to my Mastercam screen so I can show you how I went about programming this part. Now on this part, um, you're seeing a mold. Now, it's kind of a mold-based part. And what I'm really after here is I'm after a certain finish where these green arrows are. So I drew some green arrows on my screen because when I initially did this, um, I went and pretty much did an equal scallop without doing anything with the tool path, where I had good motion, but not necessarily the motion I wanted to have where these green arrows are. So a cool way to do this is to go back into our tool path. And in our tool path control page, we are gonna have a strategy. Now we have closed offsets and trimmed offsets. The trimmed offset option is gonna allow me to pick curves if I want. Now in this case here, I went and I picked two curves and I have them curves up on the screen. Now as you're noticing, I drew a circle and I took a pattern off the top of my part for the outside shape. Now what this is going to act like is kind of like a multi-axis morph toolpath where it's going to echo both shapes together and blend them out. Now what the circle did for me was give me the true pattern that I actually wanted around that area that I pointed out with the green arrows. So let's go ahead and take a look at that without our solid model on. And once I zoom into here, you're gonna notice that you're seeing my lines are kind of following the shape of that circle, which is what I was really after in this case to hopefully eliminate any polishing that would be needed. Now it's easy to go ahead and talk about this and uh, say, you know, you can do this, you should be doing this. But what I like to do is I like to really back it up with some actual machining video. So let's go ahead and take a look at this actual part being cut in this machine behind me.
as you can see by that video, we got some really cool chip formation from them excellent Amugi tools in this P20 tool steel that's running about 37 Rockwell. Um, you also notice that my cut pattern on my equal scallop was exactly pretty much what I wanted because I had the ability going through master cams, high speed tool pass to manipulate the cut the way I wanted it and not necessarily the way master cam wanted it. So I'd like to take a special thanks just to thank our partners in this case, uh, Miltronics USA and Amugi Tools. Uh, their applications engineers went above and beyond with some very high sophisticated machinery and tools that made this job really a breeze, where otherwise it could have been a little bit of a uh, challenge for me. And I'd also like to say, any master cam questions you have, you can go ahead and contact the number below. Um, with anything, any type of question you have about a master cam, we're happy to answer them questions for you direct. And as always, thanks for watching our YouTube channel, and I hope you can definitely check us out again in the future.